Business is okay, you know. We okay, had a, our, not our better first, than? No, our first quarter was okay. You know, the thing is, we do business across the world, and one of the things about the market for auto repair, people always need to get uh, cars repaired. And the other thing is, is that cars keep changing. People think that uh, the car repair is the same over and over again, but it really keeps changing. Every time they come, bring out a new model, it creates a new challenge for the guys in the garage, the guys and gals in the garage, and that's how we help them. There's a lot of new technology coursing through that. Of course, there are different geometries, so they need different hand tools, but also there's all the electronics. All kinds of diagnostic incredible things that Incre you have to incredible. bring to the table. Yes, and, and so that's one of the things. You talk about upskilling the workforce, and we talk about it all the time, but upskilling our customers is important for us. You have a U.S. market, probably your biggest market, yes. but you also have global businesses. We do. Where, where is the economy stronger relatively, the U.S. or overseas? Oh, I would say today, depending on, you know, overseas, when you say that, it's a big area and it's a variegated sure. landscape, but the U.S. seems to be the strongest to me. I mean, it, 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 appears, it appears to be the strongest, and I think a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, indications show that. I mean, the National Association of Manufacturers say that, you know, their outlook is 79 percent positive. Now, that's down 10 points from the prior quarter, but it's up 20 points from what it was like uh, two years ago. You're expanding right. in China, right? We are. A lot. We are. We How, are. Is it harder today to do business in China because of the trade tensions between the U.S. and China, or we, not? We haven't really seen that, but the China market is off the bu bubble. I mean, Ford is down in the in the first half, 27 percent, and Buick is down 15 percent. So the auto repair market is down a little bit. I mean, one of the things you think about in China, they probably never saw a reduction. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. have dealerships in China, they're trying to figure out what to do about this. The fact that the auto, the auto industry is now down 9 percent. Our dealers are used to it, so they batten down the hatches. The guys in China don't really see that. What, we're percent, there. what percent of your tools that you sell in the U.S. are made in the U.S., and what percent of the tools and equipment that you sell, for example, in China are actually made in local markets? We tend to make in the markets where we sell. Because we have 70,000 SKUs, so it's hard to lob those customized tools 10,000 miles in 12 time zones. One of the things we do is we keep adjusting our tools. We brought out last year hundreds of our, one of our plants, Milwaukee plant, brought out 10 percent more SKUs last year. So the complexity of our product line keeps getting greater because we have to meet the different demands in the garage. Not to mention, like I said, the electronics. We have databases that are 130 billion records and 1 billion records that will allow the technician not to worry about how to, he, he plugs it in and it says, if it's an Audi with 85,000 miles, this is the likely problem. How'd you know I drive an Audi? I don't know what you're talking about. I, know, I could tell. You're an Audi you driver. Tell. You're an Audi driver. I'm well, sorry. We're here right. to talk about, about the, the yes. evolving workforce. And yes, I know sir. this has been a passion of yours, yes. literally. Yes. It is one thing to say that we do not have enough skilled workers. There is also, I think you would agree, a kind of PR problem around developing skilled workers in the trades. I would say exactly that. Not just the trades, but auto mechanics and manufacturing. One of the things these is, are seen as consolation jobs. I, I would say that exactly. And and uh, the National Association of Manufacturers uh, did a survey. Ninety percent of the people say manufacturers important. Thirty percent want their children to be manufacturers because this is what other people's kids do. We viewed these as the in Huxley How do you terms, change it? in Huxley's terms, the gamma minuses of our society. How you change is you got to celebrate the jobs. Things like Skills USA. We're doing we're doing things which which trains people and celebrates their achievements in local, state, and national conventions. The National Association of Manufacturers is starting a program next year. There's 125 years old. Creators want it. They're going to go out all over the country and celebrate manufacturing. We need to recognize that technical jobs, not manufacturers and uh, tradesmen and people in the, in the shops, can find uh, a way to keep their family warm and safe and dry and have pride and dignity, which was always the definition of the American dream. And I can assure you that pride and dignity and ability to keep your family warm and safe and dry exists in the garages of the world, the uh, repair shops of the and world. That and that impulse is factors. never going to go away. That impulse is a basic human impulse. We need to impulse. restore the respect for the dignity of work.